Welcome back to Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. We're in the third quarter, and it's the Dolphins who are in possession of the football. Tannehill and the Dolphins break the huddle. Come up first and 10 at the 34. Time to establish the run game. It's Gore. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip some second level. Score a first down and then some. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. On first down, it's Tannehill. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Gore again here on first down. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. To throw on second down is Tannehill. And he finds Danny Amendola. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy.
Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Now a handoff for Gore. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The best offenses and the ones that win are ones that make adjustments. And right now, I think this team needs to open things up. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Here's Tannehill now on second down. He'll set up the screen to Drake. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. On the handoff, it's Gore. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So it'll be second and goal when we return. We played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. The veteran Frank Gore stands alone in the backfield on second and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll try and push it in with Gore. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He already has two sacks to his credit. Now another tackle for loss. And you know how you can always identify who was supposed to block him? They're the ones helping up the person who just got knocked to the ground with the ball, right? Whether it's a running play or a pass play. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. Maybe you chip him with a second guy. Maybe you just out and out double him. Maybe you make sure you take the ball and throw it as far away from him as possible. Because right now, he is wrecking things for them. Now Tannehill on third and goal. And that is incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this shutout is going to continue as the defense holds again. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we're going to get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 16. Wait, 
So after the INT, it's Brady. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He's got a man complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Brady and Edelman hook up for a big one, 51 yards. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. In on the stop defensively, Raekwon McMillan. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And able to find Dorsett. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Brady now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him 9 there on the first down completion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. On second down, here's Brady. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game ceiling touchdown. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They come out here in the eye. Brady. Dancing to his touchdown, Patriots. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. So now Brady and the Patriots going for two. They'll try and run it here. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? 
I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. Koskowski now out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position where we were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Three down, three down. Yep. Run 80. On first down, Tannehill. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first and 10, Tannehill. Amendola catching it left side. And he goes out right around the 39. That throw good for four. It's second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Set, lady. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Going right side here, and that's complete. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Tannehill on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. On second and 10, Tannehill. He dumps it off to Dre. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. Tannehill now to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So that drives seven plays in length. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins.
So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And the Patriots are going to recover, and that should just about assure victory. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Give. This is Michelle, and he'll get this down only to about the 46. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Four down, four down. 20. On second down, Michelle. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and eight. Hey. Hey. 20. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Instead, second down. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Yep. Lady. 
one last throw here for Tannehill. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it, and they came up with